Hello there, it's me, Kimberly Gosney from makingheadway.us, and today I am sharing a tutorial to help you DIY a website that you'll love. And I am super excited about today's tutorial because it comes from a question that one of my Making Headway participants, Ani, asked me about her website. So the topic that we're tackling right now in this video is making category pages for your WooCommerce products. So this one is perfect for you to watch as a tutorial if you're using WooCommerce and you want more than just a shop page that lists out every single product and category that you have inside your shop. So you might want to start making category pages for your WooCommerce products if you have a really robust shop where you have got a lot of different products and especially if you've got a lot of different types of products. So I am going to hop on one of my template sites that's got WooCommerce installed and we're going to get right to it. So here I am on one of my template sites for a template that I created called Giggle that's coming out really soon. But I wanted to show you how a traditional shop page with a WooCommerce site looks. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and click on shop and you'll see everything that's in this shop showing all at one time on one page. So right now I have four sample products. There's a mix in here of different types of products. We've got sale products and regular price products. And I'm going to show you how to categorize this out. So before you get to this spot, you're going to need a few different products in your shop. This will not work if you have categories that don't have products in them because the categories won't show. So you want to make sure you've got a couple of different products to start experimenting with first before you start creating your categories. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my products and we're going to dig a little deeper into how this part works. So right now you'll see that this product is listed with the category of sale. And when you're adding in your products to your WooCommerce shop, you're going to start adding them in as categories. So let's click on this edit product button so I can show you how to create a category for your WooCommerce product. So with categories, you want to think of those as like big groups of multiple different types of products. So you're going to find your product categories right here um, on the right hand side. And this is my sale category right here. And you can add new product categories by clicking right here and putting in a name. So I'm just going to type name to show you how that works. But at any rate, that's how you're going to get a category in here. So that's the first way you can get a category. If you get here and you already have a lot of products added and you want to go in and add a bunch of different categories to your site all at one time, you can also hover over here on the left hand side, right up under WooCommerce, you're going to see products. And right up under products, you're going to see categories. If you give categories a click, it's going to let you see the different product categories that you currently have. So here are mine. I've got new, sale, fun, and then I've got this funky name one that I just made. So right now I'm going to delete that one out because I really don't need it. I just made that to show you how to do it. But you can come over here to the side and type in the name of a category. So if I type name right here again, and then I type name again, the slug is going to be a short little um, version of that word. And you need to keep this kind of one or two words. You don't want to put a lot of hyphens in between, but you want to keep this short and sweet. Then you can keep on coming down. And if you have a thumbnail image that you've created for your category, this can be helpful if you ever want to display an image and have someone click on that to get to your category. You can upload your image right here. I've got a pre-made one, so I've already popped a few in. But for right now, I'm just going to use this one that's called Sale. And the ideal size for these thumbnails, I believe, is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. But if it's bigger, it's fine. It'll size it down. So now I'm just going to hit Add New Product Category. And you'll see that that, that category of name has popped up right here. So once again, that's just a fun one that I was testing out. So I'm going to delete that out so it doesn't get everything confused in just a few minutes. So the goal here is that first you have your categories and that you have some products before you add those categories in. So product adding first, then you can come in and start adding those categories. 
So now let's take a look back again at our products. And I know I'm going over this really quickly, so this might be one of those tutorials that you have to watch, pause, do, and then watch, pause, do. You might even have to watch it twice because WooCommerce is more of an advanced type of tutorial. So let's look at these products. Right here you'll see I have a sale product and it's assigned to the sale category. I have a sample product with a really long, super long title and it's assigned to the new category. I have a sample product too that's assigned to the fun category and I have a sample product with a review that's assigned to new. So right now I have two assigned to new, one assigned to sale, and one assigned to fun. So remember, we added those product categories by scrolling down, and it's going to come up in just a second, but you're going to scroll down the right-hand side of your site, and you're going to add new categories every time you need a new category. And once you hit Add New Product Category and type in the name, that will become a category once you hit Enter and Save Your Product. Whew, I feel like I'm talking like a crazy person, and I haven't had any coffee because it's super late at night, so I don't know what my problem is right now, but I promise we're going to get right back to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our site, and I want to show you one of the fun things about categorizing your offerings. So here we are, and I'm going to click that shop page again. Right now I have shop, and it's showing every item in my online shop. But if I hover and click on new arrivals, it's only going to show products that have new as the category. Isn't that super cool? And then it's going to also have fun stuff, and it's only going to show you the stuff that's categorized as fun stuff. And then finally, if I click on sale, boom, it's going to show you only the sale stuff. So that is why it's super nice if you have a lot of things in your shop that people have multiple ways that they can view these things. It's all the same product. Products. It's just categorizing them to make them easier for someone to find so they don't land on here, for example, and see hundreds of products if you have a really robust online store. So now let's talk about how we come up with this section here. So these are done through WordPress's menu. So we're going to come right down here and we're going to hop over to menus really quick. And I want to show you how you pop those in. So here we are on the main menu of the site, and you'll remember it has shop, then it said new arrivals, fun stuff, and sale. Right down here over on this left-hand side is the product categories section for WooCommerce. So you want to make sure if you're a Headway Themes user, that's what I'm using today. If you're a Headway Themes user, make sure you're on the correct menu if you have multiple menus on your site. I feel like I am going over so much stuff. I am sorry if I'm overloading you tonight. But um, first, we're going to make sure we're on our right menu. You're just going to come down to product categories, give it a click, and you can click on one, two, three, or all of them and add them to your menu. So once you have done that, you're going to grab them and slide them into place where you want them to appear in your menu items. So I'm adding, adding, adding. Now is also a great time to open one up. So I'm going to open up this new one and I'm going to change the title that it shows to Arrivals. I just think that looks better than just new. <laughs> so New Arrivals is now that shop page's new name. So we're going to scroll back down and we're going to hit Save Menu. And now we're going to take a peek at the demo site. And Giggle now will have like six things in that drop down menu. But this is how you add categories as menu pages to your website. And you don't even have to make new pages. The new pages automatically are created for you because they're a category in WordPress. So let's come down and let's click on the second new arrivals. And that'll take us straight to that page. So now someone getting here could just click on the name of your product and boom. They can see your product and hopefully decide to purchase it from you. So that, my friends, is how you create 
category pages for your WooCommerce shop and pop them on your menu so that you can have multiple different ways that people can look at the items that you're serving up to grow your online business. So if you liked this tutorial today, I would love for you to hop over to makingheadway.us and become a subscriber. You'll get a short and sweet email from me once every week on Friday morning letting you know what's going on, what new tutorials have been released, and we have an absolute blast. So thank you so much for your time today, and I hope that you have a great day and that you are always making headway with your DIY website. Thanks, and bye!